And welcome back to another edition of the Where Should They Go From Here series. I am RJ West, and today we are taking a look at the Denver Nuggets. And so, Koli Jokic is a boss. This guy is a beast. And, like, he was just, he just really emerged this year. He was out to, I mean, he came out and showed, he got more minutes, and he came out and showed why he's the guy that should be considered as a franchise player, because... I think if you leave him in if you leave the franchise's hands into him, I think he'll be the guy that can lead you to where you need to go. Cause he was just a second round draft pick steal. Average averaged sixteen and a half points per game. He must have been out with injury in two thousand in the two thousand fifteen season or something, or maybe he was overseas, I don't know, but He's performed well up to this point. He's a pretty, he's got pretty solid athleticism. Not as much as other players, but he's not as athletic as other players, but he's still got pretty solid athleticism. He's pretty, he is, a, I mean, his passing ability is what comes out at you automatically, and he's also a very good rebounder, too. Defensively, he's pretty solid. He's just one of those guys that can just, I think that they're just in the right hands with Nikola Jokic. And so they're not trading Jokic, all right? For anybody who thinks that, <laughs> I mean, that's pretty obvious, but. And they had Jamal Murray. He looked good at the start of the season, but I don't know what happened towards the end. Moutier, I mean, he's just, he's an, we just need to give him some time. He was thrusted into a heavy amount of minutes, and I don't think he was really ready for that. So we need. So we should give him some time, and uh, I don't know if that will hurt his development or not. But we shall see. Will Barton, of course, was in contention for Sixth Man of the Year, 2016. I can't actually remember. I can't actually remember if he won it or not, but. He was in the dunk contest, and there's Gary Harris, good D and three type of guy. Gallinari, pretty good, just a guy that you can get to put the ball in the basket. He actually had his most efficient season of his career, so that's good. He's probably gonna have to be overpaid though by the Nuggets. And then there's Wilson Chandler. So they're just a team that's always been with full of assets, but they haven't been able to cash in. And this past season, they were able to almost get into the playoffs. And uh, I mean, if they were to get into the playoffs, they probably would have been bounced around by the Warriors. But I don't know. They would have. Nikola Jokic, I think, would have been showcased. So. I mean, it was really, it really should have been in their best interest to make the playoffs, and it would have been better because then Jokic would have gotten more playoff experience, and he would have gotten more exposure because he's playing against the Warriors. Oops. So the Nuggets, they just need to hit this draft pick right. They need to hit it right. That's not right. <sighs> um. So in an ideal world, they would. Actually, in a perfect world, I would say that a guy like Jason Tatum would fall to them. That would be in a perfect world, if you ask me. Harry Giles, I think they already have it. They already have Kenneth Farid on the roster, and I think these guys are just too similar to sort of be much. I mean, he's t slightly taller, but they're too similar to me. So, I mean, they just need to get this draft right. If a guy like Josh, I, I doubt that. I mean, this draft, this mock draft isn't that good. This mock draft isn't that good because it's on 2K, of course. But if a guy like Josh Jackson were to follow to them, that would be pretty good, pretty decent. I mean, a guy like Jason Tatum would work out well. I drafted him in my Nuggets Rebuild series, so there's that. But um, in terms of contracts, like I said, I think Danilo is going to be overpaid. If they want to keep him, then he's going to have to be overpaid. 
and uh, they're actually their salary cap situation isn't in such bad shape if they were to trade Wilson Chandler they would be in even better shape so I mean there's that might be able to afford somebody but right now Denver isn't that big of a market for star players to come over or star players to go down there if, but if they were to get a star player that would like ideally a small a small forward but um I mean maybe somebody wants to play with Nikola Jokic I mean you never know but I just think that they are just in a position where they just need to build up the roster and they have assets to make trades but they're just not doing so they haven't done so so in terms of where they should go they really need to get another guy that they can put the ball that can put the ball in the hoop I think honestly I mean that's not necessarily they just need another guy that they can have they just need another superstar because none of these guys flash me as superstars I mean maybe Jamal Murray can become that for them but I don't know maybe Moutier they're gonna have to develop though so that's the thing we're just gonna have to wait and see they shouldn't make any any like bad decisions any rash decisions any crazy ones but I think they're actually in a solid spot right now if they were to make the playoffs next year then they would be in even better shape so yeah we'll see what the Nuggets decide to go where they decide to go from here so that'll do it for this edition of the where should they go from here series next team we will be looking at will be the Miami Heat so I'll see you then